we'll start with a couple of items already on our graph from previous search results. Notice that the items we've dragged onto the graph have two icons next to them in the search results pane. The first one is our graph icon and represents that we have placed these items on the graph. The second one is a map pin and shows that these items will be displayed on the map. Now, let's load our map view by clicking on the pin on our toolbox just below the graph icon. Any item on our graph that has the location associated with it will now appear on our screen. We can also drag items from search directly onto the map. If we try to drag an item that does not have a location associated with it, we see that the system recognizes this and will shake its head at us. From the map, we can also load artifacts and entities by doing a radius search. Since our current data set is about terrorist attacks in Colombia, let's do a radius search around that area. To do this, right click on the map and select Load Results Within Radius. We are prompted with the message, click to place the center of interest, which we do right where it says Colombia. Next, we can move our mouse outward and see a circle appear, showing the area that will be searched. I'll drag my mouse here, so it covers most of the country, and then click. We now see that our map has been populated with all the items that were tagged inside of that location. If we switch back to the graph, notice anything we've added to the map also shows up here.